there was a time in my life that i was dealing with shame and rejection of the highest order I was invited to dedicate the poorest house of bishop td james hello my family welcome again to direct to tv bringing to you the truth welcome guys to this special episode of my video and in today's video guys i'm ready again with the man of god by person of um the archbishop duncan williams and you know um the reason why i have to bring this video is because the issue of the man of god um bishop um to the jakes has really gone viral and you see a lot of people are really beginning to forget the good deeds of the man of god um bishop td jakes you know i was being told the story one, one day uh, i'll share the story by the end of this video guys but i'll quickly like you to watch um the testimony of the man of god duncan and um, bishop duncan um yes bishop duncan williams concerning the man of god bishop td jakes all right or concerning his life this is very important so that whatever happens don't forget that bishop td jakes has helped many he has really helped to bring the life of many all right in christianity and don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to this channel as you are going to be watching um today's video guys please watch the man of god the archbishop duncan williams and i be right back please watch this i remember when i lived in the u.s there was a time in my life that i was dealing with shame and rejection of the highest order and suicidal thoughts used to hit me in those days at that same time I was invited to dedicate the Potter's house of Bishop T.D. Jakes. And when the invitation came, there was, a, there was a part of me that was excited about it. There was another part of me that didn't want to do it. And I said, no, I'm not going to do it. It's too much exposure. I'm already finished out there. This is going to throw me into the dens of lions. They're going to devour me and finish me. And after a while, I mastered my fears and shame and reproach and rejection. And I said, I'll do it. Okay, play it. You put it on play it. To declare the prophetic word, now Satan, hear ye the word of the Lord. It is written to subvert a man in his cause appointed by heaven the Lord permitted it not the Lord approved it not and therefore we declare that there shall be no sabotaging nor subverting of the man of this house in his cause he will run his race he will finish his cause in the name of he who died and laid in the grave and arose that prayer was seven minutes prayer after that prayer every major door in america i walk in today of all the mega churches was a result of that prayer seven minutes and churches up to today they'll call and say we want you to come we'll fly you into our city first class all we want you to do come to our church pray just for 10 minutes We'll give you a good offering and go. Don't pray. Just come and pray and go. Are you hearing me, somebody? And that was my worst times and worst days of my life. And yet, the level of unction and presence and oil that I carried in the mix of all the rejection and the shame and the embarrassment i have never carried it before in the mix of all the mess it was like god was saying what you see as a stumbling block is a stepping that's it it was like god was saying it was like god was saying I don't know anything about what you are talking about just like god was saying it's your problem you created it fix it i haven't changed my plan for you so it's up to you you decide what you want to do whether you still want to serve me preach or you want to get out of here you decide that's the same thing he said to elijah elijah said i'm tired i want to get out and it's okay you want to get out get out 
give the mantle to Elisha and get out. So God says, it's your problem, you decide. Ladies and gentlemen, it was a window. Somebody's the first move. All right, my family, there you have it with the man of God by person of the Archbishop um, Duncan Williams. And in, you see, that's an amazing testimony that has been shared by the man of God, um, Bishop Duncan Williams. And like I said in the beginning of the video, I, I don't want the people to start forgetting, um, you know, the good deeds of the man of God, um, the person of Bishop um, T.D. Jakes. All right. I said in the beginning of the video, I'll tell you a story. All right. That in a, in there's a particular village, a story I heard about a particular village where whenever somebody does something wrong. All right. And remember, this um, issue of the man of God T.D. Jakes is just a rumor. All right, there's no confirmation of this thing. It's just a rumor. It's not true. All right, there's, it's not true that it, it actually happened. All right, so there's actually a village. All right, and in this village, whenever somebody does something wrong, imagine if a person steals something, they will have to take the person to the village square, and then all the villagers in that village will come and tell the the, the thief the good deeds he has done since when he was born. See, that's a way of reminding the person that all right, he has been good. All right, that is good ways as actually healed result instead of him going into stealing so that same way i want us to begin to think about the good things that the man of god um bishop teddy jakes have done and and don't focus on the wrong all right we are not sure of this it's just a rumor guys so i believe that you have been blessed in today's video and i look forward to seeing my next video guys don't forget if you have not liked the video kindly the like button like today's video and if you have not subscribed please hit the subscribe button and subscribe guys and i'll see you in my next video bye